What's this? Still no video. It has been a while, has it not? But I do have a reasonable explanation for why it takes so long. You see, this is actually harvest time, which is the busiest time of the year for me. And just to make things even more bouncing, I bought myself a truck. Whoa. This state-of-the-art transportation device cost me a grand total of a thousand dollars and fifty bucks. Wowzers! I mean, look, look at that. Have you ever seen a better deal? Now I know what you're thinking. You're probably looking at those little rust spots, and you're thinking, "Oh, Marty, you guys, you bought yourself a beater." No, no. This is what gives it flavor. Yep. It's tried and true. So the video I'm currently working on is the game jam I did with Polymars, which should be out in a week if everything uh, behaves itself and goes reasonably well. It's just been really busy. Got most of the garden in. You can see, kind of, it's a little, a little less full than it was before. And the truck needs you know, a few repairs. Not nothing, nothing really that I couldn't handle. Uh, if you take a look, <laughs> let's just show you the little, the little, the little secret. So, what's this? JP weld on a truck? Yeah, the exhaust, the manifold. It was leaking, and uh, you know, if you have a leaky manifold, and it, all that leaks right into the cab, you could slump over at the red light and just teeter. Just stop for the pedestrians, and then you wouldn't ever start again. Now, you're probably thinking, Marty, you got scammed. That thing is a hunk of junk. Hold it right there. This truck has one huge feature which makes it well worth its weight in gold. And uh, no, I'm not talking about the four wheel drive. Let's imagine a little little scenario. You've got a coworker or it could be a family member or maybe just, just, just a neighbor and they want to ride in your pristine vehicle and you don't want them to ride in your vehicle. It's understandable. Maybe it's a rank old farmer that never takes a shower. Psst, like in Mick Van Buck. Or it's just one of those people we call chronic whiners who whine about everything and you don't want them riding in your high octane performance vehicle. I'd like to introduce you to truck safe technology. If you'll just allow me to demonstrate, we open the door of the car and say that persistent hitchhiker doesn't get your subtle little hints that you don't want them riding with you, bang on the door a few times. Now you're gonna need the tool for the job, which this is actually called an actuator and it, act it activates the truck safe technology. Now, Gotta get nicely into position and just a couple taps. Well, looky here what sprinkled out. With a few taps from the actuator, a couple truck safe pellets will sprinkle on out and these little rascals will convince anyone not to enter your vehicle. Upon seeing these nasty little rat tur I mean pellets here, that persistent hitchhiker will swiftly put their thumb back in their pocket where it belongs. Now let's say you've got an individual of the ranker status and they don't really mind the little pellets sprinkled about as they're driving. Well, give it a couple more taps. The more the merrier. Now, you get about five or more pellets sprinkled out, they will immediately abandon all hopes of entering your truck. It's revolutionary patent pending technology. So this is the old F-150, 97 F-150. And you know what, they're, they're solid vehicles. You can't go wrong on these things. You know what, the engines, they never quit. They're made to last, aside from the manifold. The manifold's massive pain to take off, which is why I'm not even gonna try. I'm just gonna JP weld it. And that is the logical solution to the problem. <laughs> Fixing it right? Lame. That's not what a real programmer would do. Real programmers hack things together. And you know what? You work on a truck for a couple days, just like that, all your time just swiftly scuttles down the drain. The video is coming. I'm about maybe three quarters of the way through it. It's a lot of footage to edit because I recorded everything. I don't know. I think there's like 10 or more hours of footage to go through. But let's not forget what's inside the glove box. What? What? It can't be. No. It's Mick Van Buck. This is Mick Van Buck, Call of the Lighter. The full book, it is out on Amazon and you can own your very own copy of Mick Van Buck, Call of the Lighter for the low, low price of $14.99. 
$14.95 American dollars. We're really happy with how the book turned out. The cover and the spine. Look at that spine. That spine is an impressive, it calls to you. Now the call of the lighter, what does that mean? Well, it's in reference to a certain pyromaniacal fellow who can't resist the urge to pick up a nice little set of matches. We're all very happy with how the book turned out. The print size was exactly what we wanted. And the most important thing is, it's a hilarious read. And it's clean humor. And that is a rarity today. Finding clean humor that's actually funny, that blows my mind. Let's see if we've got a picture of Mr. Brown. Oh, here we go. Mr. Brown. Mm -hmm. A rank old farmer. <clears throat> As Mr. Brown knocked on our front door, the smell from outside came wafting in through the open window, hitting my nose, making my knees wobble. Joy, hesitating, sucked in some air and began to hold her breath before letting the rank old farmer and his fog of death into the house. The door was hardly open before Mr. Brown's foot appeared in the crack of the door, just in case Joy was going to change her mind about letting him in. So you can pick up your own copy of Mick Van Buck, Call of the Lighter today on Amazon, link in the description of course. When entering the realm of Mick Van Buck, you're guaranteed to laugh. So get the book today. So till next video, 